Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some last minute gear updates. It's finally March and my start date is really soon. So I'm going to talk through some last minute things that have been on my mind, um, some gear updates that I made, and then also some things that are on the chopping block that I'm considering sending home within the first couple of weeks. Also, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed um, to this channel. I'm really excited that I'm going to be posting some vlogs along my through hike and I start really soon. So if you subscribe, you'll get to see the videos really soon. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to talk through some of my gear updates that I've had since I made my last video. So in my last video, I kind of made it very short and sweet. Didn't really go into detail about why I was bringing the items I was bringing and I kind of just talked through all the different things that are in my backpack but in this video I'm gonna kind of talk through some of the things I'm a little iffy about and then also some things that I've changed since I made that video so the first gear update I made and probably one of the biggest ones is I got some ultras so I was really considering getting trail runners because I know boots just stay wet for a really long time and they're less comfortable and they're heavier. So I ended up deciding to get some ultras. They were on sale at REI, so I'm really excited about them. I went on a little seven mile hike with my whole backpack and everything in this nature area near my house and they felt awesome. I really liked them. Um, I also really liked my boots, but after my rain test that my dad and I did, which you can watch the video, it's in my on my channel, um, I, I don't know. I didn't really like how they stayed wet for like actually a week after I wore them. And I know everyone, a lot of people use trail runners. So I figured I might as well give them a shot. Um, I have a couple chances early on if I want to send things home with people, I will be able to do that. So, um, I'm going to try them out. I really like them already. They're super comfortable, but if for some reason they are just like not working for me, I'm going to have like someone bring my boots back. So yes, very excited about these is the biggest probably piece of gear that I updated. So my next gear update are these Birkenstocks. I talked about this in the last video I made about my gear, but I was going to bring Tevas and I had gotten them for Christmas and I really liked them. They were so cute, but they were about 12 ounces, which I just was thinking was a little bit heavier than I was intending. So I ended up snagging these Birkenstocks. They're point f or they're five ounces, which they're about half the weight of the other ones. And um, I also just like how I can slip them on easily and not really think about it, like having to do all the straps. And also the Tevas, I got them within a year, so I could just easily return them to REI. So I got these and I'm really excited about them. I've been wearing them around a lot and I like them. Um, I think that's also something I've kind of been thinking about is whether I need camp shoes or not. I'm definitely going to be starting off with them, but if I feel like I can just wear my trail runners and loosen the shoelaces um, when I'm around camp, if that feels fine to me, then I might just send my camp shoes home. But for now, I'm going to bring the camp shoes. I also think they're cute. They're light purple, so I really like them. Okay, my next gear upgrade was this um, Cnoc bag. I know a lot of people talk about these and how this way you squeeze bags that come with the filter um, tend to break and also it's really frustrating because this part of the bag is pretty small to be collecting water. So people were re really raving about these bags because you can just open them up on the top and then collect the water and then put the Sawyer on the bottom. So I tested it out in my sink and I really like it. I think this is going to now be my dirty water collector bag and then I'm going to have I'm going to ditch one of the smart water bottles I was planning on bringing and just carry one smart water bottle and then another smaller water bottle on my strap pocket. So very excited about this and also it can hold a lot of extra water just in case even though I know the AT is very has a lot of water sources and that's not really something you need to worry about. It makes me happy. It's a three liter bag, so I'm excited about it. My next gear update that I have is that I got this Patagonia Micro Puff Puffy jacket. So I was doing a lot of research because when I 
tested out all my rain gear. I was wearing my old Uniqlo puffy, but it is a couple years old. So I was kind of trying it out. I've worn it so many times and normally I've loved it, but I had my REI dividend. And after doing my research, I really liked how this jacket's super lightweight, but it's also not down. <laughs> She does bark in like every video, but I liked how this jacket will stay warm even when it's wet. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. It is very comfy and I like it a lot and it's just a puffy, so not, it's not that much to it, but it's really awesome. Alrighty, so my next gear update is this black Athleta tank top. Initially, I was planning on just bringing a long sleeve Nike athletic shirt to wear every day to hike in. But then I started getting nervous. I guess they say you pack your fears. So I started getting nervous that I was gonna be extremely hot if my only uh, base layer that I could hike in was a long sleeve shirt. Kind of made me nervous um, just in case, cause I know the Georgia weather fluctuates so much. So I ended up deciding to bring this, it's super light. It's just like a really loose, like tank, like cropped tank top and just in case it gets really hot and I'd rather wear a tank top instead of a long sleeve and then put layers on top. I wanted to bring this and see. Next up is my smart water bottle. So still bringing the smart water bottle, um, but I added some duct tape around it, which is something I would always do on the long distance canoeing trips I would go on um, a couple years ago. I'm just like used to putting duct tape around my water bottles just in case. I need duct tape for any reason because you never know and you it's always just helpful to have duct tape with you so i'm gonna bring that that's, that's a really small gear update but still something i'm doing differently and adding on next up for my gear updates is this ground sheet so in my past in my previous video i can't remember what i put what i was using for my ground sheet i think i was going to be using this emergency blanket on the ground but i ended up getting one of these ground cloths from Gossamer Gear because it's pretty cheap and I was actually going to use a piece of Tyvek but I could only find massive rolls of Tyvek from Home Depot for like $70 so I just decided to get this small one that will be just enough for me and um, it's super lightweight and I'm excited to see how this does. I've read some mixed reviews. I saw one person said that it was totally awful and just everything pops through it on the ground and it was awful but then again I have also seen a lot of positives about this ground cloth so I'm just gonna try it out and see and if it's totally terrible I'll reassess and adapt and change my ground cloth. Next up I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that I updated after my rain gear test video which once again you can find it on my channel if you want to watch it um, but I had a trash bag in the bottom of my bag it was around all the stuff that I really didn't want to get wet that was not in a dry sack. So I had just a trash compactor bag with my sleeping bag, down booties. I think my sleeping pad was in there. My little tiny pillow is in there. Just a couple things. But I ended up getting this clear bag from Gossamer Gear. It's just like a plastic bag and it came with two of them. But I just think it's really nice um, on the, those canoeing trips I mentioned earlier, it was really nice to be able to have a clear bag just to see all like where everything is in your pack. And this one is also much bigger than the trash compactor bags that I had at my house. So I'll be able to fold it down a bunch and really make sure everything stays extra dry. And it also fits because my bag is a Gossamer gear pack. It's the Gorilla 50. This clear pack liner fits perfectly in the bag. So I really like it. My next gear update, I know this is kind of actually way longer than I thought it would be, but I guess I didn't really talk that much in the last video. So this is my chance to kind of explain a little bit more about what I'm bringing, but I got this pack cover. It's just a REI brand pack cover and I'm gonna try it out. It worked well in the rain gear video and made me really want to bring it, but that's just like an update on that gonna be bringing the pack cover and starting off with it and then starting off with this clear pack liner and then also some dry bags in my pack to make sure my stuff stays dry. Next up on my gear updates is this hat and it's super lightweight it's like a workout hat um, and I think it will be nice for when it's raining to have 
just a brim to keep the water out of my face and also when it's sunny i can have that sun protection from my eyes also someone commented about me bringing sunglasses which i don't have any sunglasses currently that i like like they're, they're all scratched up or i also don't want them to get broken so i'm gonna start off without them because i normally don't wear sunglasses that much honestly even though i do have blue eyes and i always am squinting my eyes i think it would be funny if i get some sunglasses in a gas station that look hilarious so i think i'm gonna do that and get them when i need them from walmart or something so stay tuned for which ones i pick out and then finally to round it out i picked up these hand warmers from rei just for when i'm starting off if it's freezing cold this will be a huge pick me up and make me feel better about walking in cold weather so i'm just bringing those and then i'll send them home if i never use them and then my emergency blanket that's like one ounce it's really light and i'm gonna bring that for some extra warmth in case okay so next up i'm gonna be talking about some gear items that are on the chopping block potentially that i'm planning on maybe keeping or maybe bringing with me at the beginning and then getting rid of early on if i don't use them the first is this tiny little gopro so i found this gopro it's my sister's and i found it in her room i didn't realize she had a gopro but I thought it would be pretty nice if I could just clip it right onto my bag like that and film videos of me walking. And also I'm pretty sure the quality on this thing is better than my phone anyways. So thinking about bringing that and just starting off with it and seeing if I use it. But if I don't, I'll be sitting at home because it is kind of just extra to bring this. Next, a classic, my rain pants. I'm starting off with them because it's gonna be really cold when I'm starting probably. Um, but if I don't wear them or just think they're annoying to put on or carry, then I'm going to be sending those home right away. My raincoat is also kind of on the chopping block because I can see myself in the hotter months just using this poncho because, I don't know, I might get really hot in that jacket and not want to wear it. So I might send just all of my rain stuff home, also my pack cover if i can just put my poncho over my pack and myself and that's fine then i might just end up going with that when it gets warmer so the next thing that's on the chopping block is potentially my gossamer gear backpack so i have the 50 liter backpack i also have this hyperlight mountain gear backpack at home it's the 2400 size pack so it's a 40 liter pack and right now with all of my winter stuff i don't really feel comfortable bringing it to start off because I just don't think I'll have enough room. So this will be at home, but if I end up wanting to downsize to that pack, I'll have it at home. Something else that I forgot to mention in the earlier part of this video is this quick drying towel that's really small and light. And I'm probably gonna be starting off with it, but then it will be on the chopping block because if I don't use it, I'll definitely be sitting at home. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your comments and I love them. You guys are all so nice and it just meant a lot to me all of the positive encouragement and words of advice that you guys have been leaving so thank you also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my vlogs they will be coming very soon and then also stay tuned for a video about food i'm probably going to be posting that really soon also it will be really short and sweet but it will kind of just go over what i'm going to be bringing on the first couple days of my through hike okay thank you for watching bye